Hey, it's Dead Guy Cardboard. I'm back with a long-awaited video of my finally completed Tito 6 Johnny Clean back run. Um, this run or set consists of 11 different cards, each with a different cigarette brand variation. And this took me about a year, a little over a year, but it was definitely a lot of fun to put together. Some difficult cards to track down, but um, definitely a shout out to uh, Net54 Baseball. A lot of people on there that helped me track down some really tough variations of these of these cards. Um, so to me, this is like the old school version of the rainbow um, sets that people put together, the refractor sets. But the difference between that. And this is obviously, these aren't refractors, but there are different variations of this card, that being the different um, cigarette brands as well as the factories that they came from. So that being said, I'll quickly go over them. From the most common to the least common. So first up is the 1910 Piedmont 350 subjects. The most common John and Kling. Then we have the 1910 Sweet Caporal 350 subjects, and this is the Factory 30 variation. And then we have the 1910 Sweet Caporal 350 subjects, but this is the tougher Factory 25 variation of this week and pearl 350 subjects. The next up is the 1909 Piedmont 150 subjects. Then we have the 1909 Sweet and pearl 150 subjects and this is the factory 30 variation. You can see the factory numbers down here. So these were printed at different factories at different points in time. And this is the uh, Sweet Caporal 150 subjects. And this is the Factory tw or factory 25 variation. This is the, the toughest Sweet Caporal Johnny Clean. And this is definitely a difficult one to track down. It took me a while to find this. And then we're getting into the, the tougher Johnny Clings. This is the 1910 Sovereign 350 Subjects variation. Nice card. And then we have the 1909, what's listed as the 1909 to 1911 Old Mill. But um, the Johnny Clean was only, this particular card only ran from 1909 to 1910, but SGC just lists the entire run of Old Mill cards because it's hard to determine which date this old mill came from. Um, but we know that's either from 1909 or 1910. Anyway, this is the old mill. A very, very, very tough card. One of the last cards I got. And I'll explain later how this is technically the old, the, the toughest card to get. The next up is the 1909 Sovereign 150 subjects. And then we have the 1909 to 1911 of Principe de Gaius. This is most likely from 1909. And this is another very, very tough card to get, particularly in this player. And then the toughest is the 19, this would have been a 1909 Hindu. Beautiful card, one of my favorite backs in the T206 set. So these are all of the different backs that you can get with the Johnny Kling. Now this is this is the uh, the back ranking according to T206resource.com, which is the basically the definitive site 
to look up the uh, the back scarcities. Um, however, different cards have different players and different cards have different uh, rarities. Even even within that back scarcity list, they post. So what I was saying before that this old mill is actually the toughest card to get for Johnny Kling. Um, because I wrote down the, actually the population reports between SGC and PSA, they list Old Mill as there's only eight between SGC and PSA, only 11 Hindus, and only 13 EDPGs. So these are definitely some tough cards. Um, but yeah, I, I would uh, I would recommend giving a uh, a uh, player background a try. Um, the best. Best place to go to, to look up what are these different backs of these different players would be, like I mentioned before, tito6resource.com. And if you click on their checklists and then you click on their search database, so you can type in their name and they'll give you the list of all the different backs that come with that player. Um, I didn't really intend to do this originally. I, I picked up this card and then I noticed I already had um, this card. And so I just said, hey, you know, why not? Why don't I just try to go for the whole thing? Because there's only 11 cards in this particular back run. Um, some of the Tito 6 players have a lot more than 11 cards, and they have some very, very difficult backs like Carolina Bryce and Drum. And um, and also, you know, I always loved this portrait, and um, Johnny Kling was definitely a good player at the time. He was a minor star. And um, at one point he was considered... Um, in talks of being inducted to the Hall of Fame because he was part of the the legendary 1908 Cubs when they won the World Series. Um, yeah, and so again, I'd like to give a shout out to Net54. A lot of the members on there helped me track down some of these tougher variations. And um, it was definitely a lot of fun putting this set together. So that's it. Thanks for watching.